Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, let's have a look at question two on this 2020 um, paper one. Solve the equation, so it's an algebra question. Okay, so we have an algebraic que question and we have a set of simultaneous equations. Okay, so one of these parts, this one is normally worth 10 marks and the next one is normally worth 15. Okay, so solve the equation, 9x minus six over two is equal to three x minus 14 over three plus nine x over four. Okay, so there's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, you can multiply across by a common denominator. So in this case, it would be uh, three twos are six, 12, okay? Can you see that they all divide into 12? So two goes into 12, six times, three goes into 12, four times and four goes into 12 three times, okay? So one way that, that's taught this is that you multiply 12 by nine X minus six over two, and that's equal to 12 times three X minus 14 over three plus 12 times nine X over four, okay? So two goes into 12 six times, three goes into 12 four times, four goes into 12 three times. And now you see why it had to all divide into the same number. So you end up with six times nine X minus six being equal to four times three X minus 14 plus three times nine X. Okay, it is the very same thinking, just in case I've confused anybody. It is the very same thinking as a common denominator. Okay, so my common denominator is 12. Okay, so you can do 12 times nine X minus six over two equals 12 times three X minus 14 over three plus 12 times nine X over four, okay? And you can see now how these start to cancel the same way again, okay? So that you end up with this line here. I just don't have the over 12 in my one, uh, simply because it's a solve and there's an equals in the middle. So you're gonna end up dropping the bottom line anyway, or I suppose multiplying across by 12 and having them cancel. OK, so I hope that doesn't confuse you. It may look like I'm doing something different, but I'm not really. OK, so let's multiply. Six nines, 54x, six sixes, 36. And of course, plus by minus is a minus. Equals four by three, 12x. OK, and you keep multiplying until the bracket closes. Four by minus 14. Do that one on a calculator is minus 56 and nine threes 27 X. Okay, and what I will say now, um, for anyone who knows me, you'll bring X's to one side and you'll bring numbers to the other. Okay, so all the X's we bring to the left and for anything that moves over the equals to sign, it will change sign. So the 54x is already on the left-hand side, so he doesn't change sign. The 12x is coming over to the other side, so he's going to become a minus 12x. The 27x is coming over the other side, so he's going to become a minus 27x. So that's all the x's on the left-hand side. And now, of course, I want the numbers on the right. So the minus 56 is staying there. And of course, the minus 36 on that side is going to come over and become a plus 36. So anything that changes over that equals to sign, um, change a side. Now, of course, it's the same thing to plus 36 to both sides, okay? It's the same net effect. So I'm putting these numbers into the calculator, 54 minus 12 minus 27. And I got 15. Okay, so I have 15 X's on that side and I've minus 56 plus 36 on that side and it's minus 20. Divide by the number in front of X 
and I get x is equal to minus 4 over 3. Okay, next part. Solve the simultaneous equation 3x minus y equals 4, 4x squared minus 3xy equals 4. Okay, so there's a couple of sets or types of simultaneous equations on your course. There's the um, x, y, z ones. Uh, I'm, I'm just making up some sums here now. And then 3x plus 2y minus z is equal to 5, okay? So these are the x, y, z ones and you have to cancel one letter at a time. And then you have the x squared ones, okay? Or, or, or uh, sorry, any letter squared. And they're very different approaches to both, okay? And both you have got to know how to do it, okay? So for this one, I'm going to concentrate on the x squared ones and explain how that works, okay? So what you'll find is, remember the, the junior set type ones, okay? Where you canceled one of the letters and then you solved for the other letter, okay? So it's not gonna work out evenly because I just made it up, okay? Um, and you cancel. Canceling doesn't work when there's an X squared. No matter how, what you multiply across by, no matter what you do, you will never get one of the letters to cancel. And remember what you want. You want a sequence of X terms to be equal to a number, why? Well, when there's only one variable, one letter in an equation, we can solve it. The problem arises when we've two variables, two letters in an equation, it's impossible to, size, to solve on its own. For example, if you think of the number x plus y equals five, well, x plus y could be two plus three, that is five, but couldn't it also be one plus four, they are five, couldn't it be minus 5 plus 10 is 5, okay? And I can go on and on and on. And you'll never know which is the right uh, pair of values for that sum because it's got two unknowns, okay? So you have to get rid of one of the unknowns and then solve for the other one. So how do we do that? Well, this is called a linear equation. And this is some sort of a round circle one, okay? And you should know that a circle is something like x squared plus y squared equal the number. So this is some sort of an oval shape. This is typical, this is a line and the line goes through it, okay? So that's kind of what you're looking at. Um, a linear equation only ever has a single powers, um, letters to the power of one, okay? So what you do is you take your linear equation and you write it in terms of a letter. So in other words, you write him as either, in terms of x is what I'm doing here. So I brought the minus y over and it became plus y. And now I'm going to divide across by three so that I get x is equal to four thirds plus y over three or a third y. y over three is the same as a third y. So that's that equation written in terms of x. Or of course, I could write it in terms of y. So I would have minus y being equal to four minus three x. I have to keep the minus with the y, bring over the three x and it became minus three x. Let's change the sign all the way across. Or let's write them as three x minus four just so that the minus is in the middle and we don't lose it. So that's it written in terms of y. So it doesn't matter which of the two letters you write it in terms of, you write it in whichever one looks easier, okay? Now, the trick is, obviously this one is easier because it's got no fractions. And I knew that by looking at it because there was no number in front of y, so I was never going to have to divide across by something. Because there's a three there in front of x, you have to divide across by three. Okay, because it has to be written in terms of a single letter. Okay, so that's how you pick which letter to write it in terms of. So let's do that again. Let's take the 3x minus y is equal to 4. Let's write it in terms of y. Let's change the sign all the way across. And let's just write it as 3x minus 4. 
what you do is then you take that 3x minus 4 and everywhere there's y in the other one, you sub it in. Okay, so this is how we link the two equations to each other. And then we solve them at the same time. So to repeat, everywhere there was y, I'm now going to put in 3x minus 4. If I had written it as x equals, then I would take whatever was here instead of x and sub it in, in this case, both places where the x appears. Okay, so what do I get when I do that? Well, I end up getting 4x squared minus 3x instead of y, I'm putting in 3x minus 4, and that's equal to 4. So 4x squared minus, right, so I need to multiply these together. So 3x by 3x, or 3 by 3 is 9x by x, x squared. Let's go again. Minus by minus is a plus. 3 by 4 is 12x. Um, I'm going to bring the, min the 4 over so that it becomes minus 4 equals 0. Well, no, let me not do that. I'll do it on the next line. Equals 4. Okay, so now I have 4x squared minus 9x squared, so that's minus 5x squared plus 12x. Now I'll bring them over because I can see, I hope you can see now a quadratic forming. Let's change the sign all the way across again. Okay, now let's solve this quadratic because we have to solve. So a is 5, b is minus 12, c is 4. So I have get um, x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So it's equal to minus minus 12 plus or minus the square root of minus 12 squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Okay. I'm just going to come up here now and continue it. So minus minus 12 is plus 12. Plus or minus. Of course, I have two fives or 10 on the bottom. So I'm going to put this bit into the calculator, the square root bit. So square root of minus 12 squared. Make sure the minus 12 is in a bracket. Okay, because that um, minus also needs to be uh, squared and you get eight, okay? So then you split them into the two answers, 12 plus eight over 10 is 20 over 10, which is two. And your other answer, 12 minus eight over 10. Okay, so you're splitting it here, plus and minus. So, and that's two fifths. Okay, so they are your two answers for x. Okay, you may think you're finished, but you're not actually. Okay, because when you're told to solve, you're told to solve for all the letters in, a, in an equation. So we know that x is equal to two, and we know that x is equal to two fifths. Okay, but let's find the matching y's. You know, why is there two values for x? Well, remember when I said, when I said what shapes these were? The bottom one was some sort of um, an oval round shape and the 3x minus y was a line. And can you see that that intersects each other at two points? And when you solve something simultaneously, you actually find the point of intersections of both things. So now what you found is the two x coordinates where they intersect, but we don't have the y coordinates yet. So. We know that, and again, you can sub into either one to find y. This will always be the easiest one, the ones where you wrote it in terms of y. So we know that y is equal to 3x minus 4. Okay, but when x is 2, then y is equal to 3 times 2 minus 4. So y is equal to 3 twos are 6 minus 4 is 2. So let's write him as x comma y. Okay. And in this one, 
when x is two fifths, y is again equal to three x minus four. So I'll sub in the two fifths for the x and find the matching y. So y is equal to three times two fifths minus four. Can't do that one in my head. Three bracket two fifths minus four and I get minus 14 over five. So again, uh, x comma y. So that is how you solve a pair of simultaneous equations with the squares in them. Write them in terms of one of the letters, the linear equation, sub it into the one with the squares, form your quadratic, solve it to find the x values or the y values depending and sub it in then to find the other lad the other letter so these take practice and are very important if you are interested in technology or engineering but are not doing higher level maths why not consider our level 7 in electronic and computer engineering this is a 3 year program that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems these are the medical devices that keeps us healthy the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress onto the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies, and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.